Hello, in this video I want to continue your orientation with Easy Video Lab by showing you how easy it is to create a text animation. Now, um, there is a few things that we just kind of need to walk through to make it, you know, so that you understand. Uh, you know, for instance, how you might select a font and so forth. So we'll walk through that. Now, uh, down here on the timeline, you can see that I have what's called an, it's an empty Anna block. It's a real small little blue block here. If I didn't have that, let's go ahead and delete that. Uh, I can easily add a new one here by clicking on the plus sign. But I need to have that selected in order to uh, basically apply settings to it and add the text animation. So let's use perhaps, uh, let's see, I can always preview the animations over here, but let's go ahead and maybe I'll do this Pepper Blast one. And you can see here that I've got uh, the ability to size, uh, set the uh, font size, I put my text animation. Right to left is for Arabic and Hebrew. Um, I can specify words and phrases and the color and even a drop shadow. So this one, there are some animations with a lot more settings. This one is pretty minimalistic, which is why I selected it just to not overwhelm you currently. So um, now one of the first things I need is a font. I, I, you know, it, it needs to know what font I want to use. And this font browser here is something you can open up with this, or I can actually have a command F. Um, looks like I have to select it or something like that, but Command F will open and close it. It'll toggle it open and close. It doesn't work if I have my cursor in here because it assumes I'm wanting to search for something. So I needed to kind of get out of there. And uh, now I can Command F, uh, toggle it I'll open and closed if I want to select a font. So you can keyword search for a font here. So I have, you know, if you watch my videos, you'll see that I'm a fan for some reason of this Chunk 5 font. So I'm double clicked on it and now it's here and now this uh, the application knows to use this font for this animation. So I can go ahead and close this now and I, I hit Command F or Control F if you're on a Windows uh, in order to close that. And so the next thing I want to do is kind of have some some text to work with. Now if you don't have something, you can come over here to the quotes and do a quick search. I'm going to do something like happy. And you can see I've got a quote here, and I'm just going to copy. I'm not going. To, I'm going to leave the author out of it, just just because this is for demonstration purposes. I'll, I won't publish this animation, so uh, I'm just going to copy that. I did. I actually hit a Control clicked on that um, in order to uh, have those options come up, so you can see that you can do Command F or Control C. I'm sorry, com Command C or Command or Control C, and so forth to get these. Um, and so now I'm going to go ahead and paste that over here, and I have text to work with. And so at this point, I can go ahead and just apply the animation, and it's going to have an animation already made for me. That's pretty cool. I'm going to get rid of this, but I can make changes. So it's a, it's a little small. So let's go ahead and increase the size. Maybe uh, it doesn't really, I just, just randomly selected something. And if I, if it's so right now, it's a little over nine seconds. Let's say that I needed it to last 12 seconds. I can hover over either the, um, the right or left hand side and just for, just kind of hover there for a second and then I can drag and I can expand that out. So that's going to basically take that animation and just make it play a little slower so that it'll last 12 seconds instead of only nine seconds. I could do the opposite if I needed to, if I needed it to be short, shorter, say seven seconds <coughs> and I get something like that. So um, over here you can see that it was say that I wanted the animation to appear maybe only on the right hand side. Maybe I had a, a character or something over here where it would make it difficult to see or whatever. I can use the posi position grid for that, pardon me. And you can see I can click on this and a grid will come up and then I can just draw, draw like, you know, over here, something like that. You'd need to do from upper left to lower right. Um, and then I can apply that animation again. It's going to appear in that area. So that's roughly what you need. I can always hide that, by the way, to get rid of it and so forth. Now, I, obviously, we can add a lot more elements. I just wanted to give you a general sense of how to work with text animations. Um, you'll find that a lot of other animations are, you know, there's possible and there's different settings for different animations. But this gives you a general sense of how to get going. And we'll cover um, in more depth in other videos.